I'd like to share some pretty surprising facts that you may never have heard about. Skin lightening is a cosmetic technique used to obtain an even skin tone. It works by reducing or controlling the amount of melanin in your skin. An uneven skin tone may be a consequence of hyperpigmentation, which is the appearance of dark patches on your skin. The dark areas of skin may be caused by age spots, freckles, or melasma. People use skin lightening techniques to fade out these imperfections. Here are some remedies that you can try at home to lighten skin. 1. Yogurt and Gram Flour Using yogurt as a home remedy for skin rejuvenation is a common practice. Both external application and the consumption of yogurt can help in achieving soft and radiant skin. Being a milk product, yogurt is full of nutrients that are beneficial to the skin. The lactic acid in yogurt acts as a natural bleaching agent. Gram flour can help improve the quality of your skin by providing nutrition. It can also be used to obtain a lighter complexion. A mixture of gram flour and yogurt can help moisturize your skin and remove excess oil. Mix yogurt and gram flour and apply the mixture to your skin. Let it dry for 30 minutes. Massage your skin and wash it off with water. To get rid of a suntan, use this remedy daily for 2 to 3 weeks. Caution, do not apply yogurt if you are allergic to dairy products. You can do a patch test to check for any sensitivity reaction. 2. Papaya. Due to its nutritive properties, papaya is widely used for skincare. It provides a healthy glow to the skin and brightens the complexion. It also acts as a natural bleaching agent. How to use it? Chop and mash a banana and papaya together. Add honey to the mashed fruits. Mix well and apply the paste to the skin. Leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse the paste off with warm water and pat your skin dry. Caution, although generally harmless, papaya or banana can trigger moderate to severe allergic reactions, including an anaphylactic shock, so it is important to make sure that you are not allergic to either of them. 3. Oranges. Oranges are highly beneficial to the skin as they are rich sources of vitamin C. Oranges can help lighten the skin by acting as a lightening agent. Also, daily consumption of freshly squeezed orange juice can revitalize the skin, leaving it soft and smooth. How to use it? Apply orange juice to your skin for an even skin tone. You may also add orange juice to your diet to extract its benefits. 4. Honey. Dark spots on the skin can result from dryness. Honey can hydrate the skin to help in attaining an even skin tone. Being an antibacterial agent, honey prevents the development of acne and helps in fading existing acne scars and age spots. Royal jelly, a honeybee secretion, can also be used to treat hyperpigmentation. One study found that water-soluble royal jelly obtained from South Korea was a potential candidate to treat skin hyperpigmentation. How to use it? Directly apply honey to the dark spots using a Q-tip. Caution, honey may trigger an allergic reaction in some people especially in those with pre-existing pollen or celery allergy. 5. Lemon. Being a citrus fruit, lemon affects the skin in a manner similar to oranges. Its high citric acid content bleaches the skin, while vitamin C promotes the proliferation of new skin cells. Lemons are rich in antioxidants that help improve skin complexion. How to use it? Dilute lemon juice with water and apply it to the skin. Leave it on for 10 minutes. Rinse your skin with tepid water. Note. Always do a patch test before applying lemon juice to your skin. The acids in lemon juice can cause a stinging sensation on coming in contact with wounds. Avoid usage if open wounds are present. 6. Aloe Vera Gel Aloe Vera can be used as a skin lightening agent due to its cooling and anti-inflammatory effects. The application of aloe vera promotes cell division and repair of damaged tissue. This can help in the treatment of hyperpigmentation. Also, the aggregation of melanin in the melanophores leads to skin lightening. Aloin, an active ingredient in aloe vera, promotes melanin aggregation. One study demonstrated that aloe vera could be used as a non-toxic melanocytic agent in a dose-dependent manner to treat hyperpigmentation. How to use it? Apply aloe vera gel to your face. Leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse your skin with tepid water. Caution, do not apply aloe vera gel on wounds or infected skin. 7. Turmeric. Turmeric inhibits the production of melanin and gives the skin an even complexion. It also helps in maintaining healthy skin as it has antioxidant and antiseptic properties. Curcumin is a major compound found in turmeric. A review paper highlighted the use of turmeric or curcumin containing products and supplements for improving skin health. The review included both orally and topically used products. How to use it? Combine turmeric powder and yogurt to make a paste. Apply the paste to your skin. Note, some varieties of turmeric powder can leave a yellowish stain on your skin. This will fade away after cleansing. 8. Cucumber. Extracts of cucumber are highly useful for skincare. Being a good source of antioxidants and vitamins A and C, cucumber extracts can help in skin hydration. 
they also help to alleviate irritation and inflammation. Additionally, cucumber extracts inhibit melanin synthesis and sebum secretion. Cucumber can help lighten the skin by making it firm and supple due to its collagen binding action. It also helps in cooling the skin and it can be used on all skin types. How to use it? Grate a cucumber and apply the juice to your skin. 9. Oatmeal. Oats have been used for the treatment of various skin problems. They are applied topically to get rid of rashes, dryness, and eczema. Studies have been conducted to understand the mechanism by which colloidal oatmeal strengthens the skin barrier. Oats contain flavonoids that can absorb UVA. Oatmeal promotes skin regeneration by exfoliating the skin. This helps lighten the skin and provides softness to the skin. How to use it? Take some cooked oatmeal. Once it cools down, apply it to your face as a mask. Wash it off after 10 to 15 minutes or once it dries up. These remedies can only bear results in due course of time. Also, there is no one-size-fits-all remedy. It is best to visit your dermatologist to assess the exact cause of uneven skin tone and then proceed with the recommended remedies and treatment. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more important information.